guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and in this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I like to make my grilled baby lamb chops, and I like to drizzle a little mint oil at the end, just because it's really, really good with the combination of mint and lamb. I've been getting tons of requests lately to start doing more, like to start doing lamb recipes, and I love lamb, so now that I know you guys want to see recipes including this ingredient, then I'm going to definitely bring those to you. But today, we're going to make a really quick appetizer, which it can really be either an appetizer or dinner in its entirety with maybe some baby potatoes or something like that. The ingredients you're going to need for them are some very basic and few ingredients. You'll need some little baby lamb chops that have been Frenched and prepped and your butcher should have this done for you. Granulated onion, I've got some dried oregano, some dried thyme, lemon, fresh mint, fresh garlic, fresh rosemary, olive oil, salt and pepper. That is it. I've got an indoor grill pan preheating over about medium high heat. I want this to be really smoking hot so that we can get some good grill marks on those baby lamb chops. Okay, enough talking, let's get to it. I'm going to just chop my garlic and my rosemary as finely as I can manage. Now I'm going to not let these really marinate. I'm kind of just going to coat them in this flavorful marinade, but you can definitely do this like the morning of or even the night before and pop them in the fridge like in a Ziploc bag and let them marinate all day. They'd be really delicious, but this we're just giving such powerful flavors to the baby lamb chops that they don't really need that much time to marinate. So this can really go from prep to mouth within 10 minutes, which is brilliant. And who doesn't love lamb chops? I have yet to meet someone that doesn't, so it's always a crowd pleaser around here and it's definitely worth doing on your outdoor grill. If you've got friends around, it's the kind of thing that can go from the grill to the people's ta like, to the table right away. So I definitely love that. I'm going to put it in this shallow dish along with my granulated onion and my oregano and thyme. And these are all really fantastic ingredients that go well with lamb, which is why I've chosen those. But if you like specific ingredients with your lamb, then by all means use that. I'm going to use some of this zest for my marinade and some of it for my little mint oil. So I'm going to zest some in here and then zest some in there because I also need to cut this lemon. That's enough. I'm only making a little for my husband and I, so I don't want to go too crazy. A little salt, pepper, and then a little bit of this lemon juice. This is a big lemon. Let's see. Probably a good tablespoon. Let's see. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay. And then we need some good olive oil. That's it. I'm just going to use my little pastry brush actually to mix this together. Flavor like in every bite. And these are going to be delicious little morsels of goodness. All right. Put them right in there. Mush them around to get good flavor. Now at this point, you can do this 20 minutes before, you can do this a couple hours ahead, it's completely up to you. You just want to make sure that if they are in your fridge marinating, take them out 10 minutes or so before you go to cook them so that they can come to room temperature a bit and cook evenly. Otherwise, like I've mentioned before, if you cook meat that's really cold on a hot, you know, on a hot surface, it shocks it and it becomes really tough and you don't want that. So, I've got a grill pan preheating over about high heat, medium high heat or so. These are going to, because they're so little, they're only going to cook for about two minutes on each side for about medium rare. Now, obviously with lamb, you cook it to, you know, desired, you know, your desired temperature. I like mine about medium rare, but whatever tickles your fancy is what you go with. So, I'm going to put these on. Oh, they look, sound good. Alrighty. Now, if you don't like, if you don't want to use lamb, you can do exactly the same thing with some chicken breast, chicken thighs. Obviously, they're going to require a bit more cooking time, but you know, you know what I mean. I'm going to let those cook for a couple minutes on each side, and then we'll pull everything together. These look wonderful. They cooked for about three minutes on one side and about two minutes on the other. But I do like my meat quite underdone, so that's totally up to you. Now. With any meat, it's crucial that you let it cool and kind of rest for a good five minutes or so only because otherwise all the juices kind of run all over the place and you're not going to be left with a really juicy and moist lamb chop. Now I'm going to wipe up all of my grease, get everything cleaned, and then we'll get ready to make our little mint oil that I think is going to add just a little pizzazz to this that takes it from good to really good. 
Now to make our mint oil, I've got some extra virgin olive oil in the container that, that came with my immersion blender, but you can also do this in just a regular blender. To that, I'm going to add in my fresh mint leaves. It smells incredible already. I've got some lemon zest and also just a very small pinch of sugar. Not enough to make this super sweet, but just enough to kind of give it a really good balance with the citrus. Lemon juice. Give this, I'm going to probably put in the whole half of this lemon. And then we've got our salt and pepper. And then just blend this up until it's smooth or a little chunky or whatever tickles your fancy. It's completely up to you. You just want to make sure this is nice and sort of spoonable, if you can get what I mean. You just want to be able to spoon it over the lamb chops. There you go. That is perfect. That's exactly how I like it. Oh, that smells so fantastic. Look at that. Mmm. Okay. Let me get one for myself. Take this baby right here. Take some of my mint. I love the combination of mint with lamb. And it's not something I grew up eating in Italy. We never use mint with lamb. We always use rosemary, garlic, lemon. But mint and rosemary is something I discovered here in the U.S. And it's a fantastic, fantastic combination. Excuse my poor little broken finger. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. I'm doing this because I'm trying to explain to you as I'm eating. It's got fantastic flavor from our little quick marinade, beautiful freshness from the oil, and they're super simple and easy to put together. Put the list alongside like a small green salad and you've got a great starter, or it's a great appetizer for people to walk around and eat with their hands because they're so handy dandy, if you get what I'm saying. Or they make a fantastic dinner alongside some baby new potatoes and tip. Boil some baby new potatoes, toss it in that mint oil, and you are in business. And it's delicious, it's easy, it's quick, it's impressive, it's a home run. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Go to lartinthekitchen.com and get the written recipe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.